Hi, my name is James Brickman. Today I'll be talking to you about the viability of nuclear power plants. When one enters their home, they first come home, turn on the lights, grab a snack out of the refrigerator, and sit down to watch some television. All of these modern appliances consume electricity. Most people are unaware of their dependency on electricity until it is lost due to a power outage of a storm. The question here is, can anyone here live without electricity? If not, then where should this electricity come from? According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, each home consumes 30 kilowatt hours a day of electricity. If one totals this up over the entire continent of the United States, uh, the U.S. consumes 11.2 billion kilowatt hours each day. Our thirst for electricity must come from somewhere. Currently, nuclear power plants are the only source of reliable and clean energy that does not produce greenhouse gas emissions. In this speech, um, I will talk about my experiences with nuclear power, past problems with nuclear power, the importance of engineering, misconceptions about nuclear power, and how nuclear power compares to coal and natural gas. My experience with nuclear power includes serving with the United States Navy and an internship at the Monticello Nuclear Generating Station. I joined the Navy in September 2000 as a nuclear mechanic. I attended Naval Nuclear Power School for eight months. I attended Na Naval Protect School for six months. I was stationed on the USS Key West uh, Commissioned Nuclear Power Submarine for four years. I was then assigned to the Bangor Naval Submarine Base for three years. I left the Navy in 2009 and interned at the Monticello Nuclear Generating Station this, in the summer of 2012. One thing that the Navy has taught me about nuclear power is that it requires extensive education to ensure that there can be a safe and reliable operation and if an issue does come up that people know how to act to resolve the problem. Past problems with nuclear power included Chernobyl and Fukushima incidents. The Chernobyl incident, according to the International Atomic Agency, was the result of the reactor failure at low powers during a test. Due to the fact that the reactor building does not have a hardened containment system, this allowed the radioactive material to spread to the environment. The Fukushima incident, according to the International Atomic Agency, was a result of a tsunami that, that caused the loss of all off-site power. This also disrupted any emergency backup power, preventing it from cooling the reactor. With no coolant to the reactor, the reactor overheated and resulted in the release of radioactive material to the environment. Both these incidents resulted in the contamination of hundreds of acres of land, but could have been prevented with proper engineering and design. Nuclear reactor safety systems are very complex and require years of engineering to ensure the safest design possible. The U.S. Navy operates their submarines and aircraft carriers all with nuclear power. According to the Naval Sea Systems Command, the Navy has accumulated over 5,400 reactor years of operation. Due to the Navy's strict engineering and safety system requirements, the Navy has maintained a perfect safety record for all of these reactor years. Another country that invests heavily with nuclear power is France. According to the Nuclear Engineering International, France has 59 operational nuclear reactors, and all of these reactors are designed to be very similar. This results in all the engineering costs that accumulate with these reactors should be spread over all the, all the industry. This also allows continual monitoring of the plant design. If an issue is found in one plant, it can be resolved in the other plants before they become a problem. Proper engineering is essential to ensure the public has a positive outlook on nuclear power and does not develop any misconceptions. According to the Washington Post, 22nd of March 2009, there are several myths about nuclear power. One of these myths is that people who live near nuclear power plants receive more radiation from those who don't. According to the Nuclear Reg Regulatory Commission, the nuclear power plants are designed with proper shielding to ensure that the public does not receive more than one milliram a year from these power plants. To compare, just one transcontinental flight, a person can receive two milliram of radiation. The biggest misconception about nuclear power is that nuclear power plants have the capability of becoming a nuclear explosion. According to the International Atomic Agency, the percent of radium-235 in these nuclear power plants is insufficient 
to result in a nuclear explosion under all operating conditions. Another misconception about nuclear power is that it generates hundreds of football fields worth of used radioactive material. During my internship at the Monticello Nuclear Power Plant, I was able to see firsthand their entire accumulation of spent radioactive material dating back to when the plant was first opened in 1971. If one were to take all of this fuel and put it into one room, it would, it would occupy a room 60 feet by 40 feet. During my time with Xcel Energy, I also had the privilege of touring a coal power plant located in Becker, Minnesota. I was able to see that the waste generated from this coal power plant was significantly more than that found at a nuclear power plant. How does coal and renewable energy compare to nuclear power? According to the Union of Concerned Scientists, the average coal power plant produces 125,000 tons of ash, 193,000 tons of sludge, and all of this is kept on site. These, these byproducts also contain rare earth metals that include arsenic, mercury, chromium, and cadmium that have the potential of, of being released into the local environment. A coal power plant also produces 3 million tons of CO2 each year. A nuclear power plant or renewable energies like wind and solar do not use coal to generate electricity, thus have none of these byproducts. Renewable energy is considered a green energy. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, renewable energy has the potential of producing enough energy to meet all of the U.S. demands. On the other hand, according to Forbes.com, Germany has mandated by law that their energy will come from 50% of their energy will come from renewable energy by the year 2030. Due to that renewable energy is more expensive than coal or nuclear power, this has resulted in their electricity costs more than doubling. Renewable energy also fluctuates in output due to the fact that wind speed varies and the light from the sun also is fluctuating. This causes power spikes in the local grid that result in breakers to trip and entire factories to shut down in Germany. To review, nuclear power has some past problems, but these all could have been avoided with proper engineering and design of safety systems. The US Navy and France both demonstrate that nuclear power can be operated safely. Nuclear power has a few myths. I ask that one dis determines the truth from fiction before making a decision. Nuclear power is more cleaner than coal, and Germany has demonstrated that renewable energy cannot replace all electricity generated from nuclear power or coal. In conclusion, nuclear power can be a choice of free and clean energy if the, the nuclear power plants are properly and sufficiently engineered to ensure that they are safe under all operating conditions. Thank you.